Hey guys, this video is from Zev Girl. This is a new, I have never, I have not seen Zav Girl, sorry. Wow, she's got a lot of subscribers. I'm gonna use a little bit of her video, so I'm gonna sub. Uh, this is the first video, where the fuck, I've ever seen of hers, and I'm already, I'm already using it. Now, this is the first thing she shows of Little Summer. Summer running in the church. First, she's sitting with Robin, you know, and then she pulls away from Robin and runs up to the to the stage. And I don't know what she's going to do. And then we get into this back to Hunter and the Chris McDonough interview. And, you know, it's funny. I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone right now because because you guys think so. Here it is. Here's her voice. Now, straight up. No, from, from now, there look. now, you. I have seen this video many friggin' times, okay? Now, for some reason, the, these these Pepsi bottles are like, I'm like, wait, what? I would have noticed these. Are these are, are these Pepsi or, yeah, this is, or Mountain Dew or something. These, this, this photo is color enhanced, which I have not seen it look like this so colorful before. But I noticed something in this. I noticed in this clip, the old grandma, the great grandma stares at her. And this is really interesting. Now, I feel like this is a mandala effect, I swear to God. Why? Because I don't remember these bottles like this. This is color enhanced, and maybe they were there and they were duller. I remember the co her coffee cup here a lot. I remember her coffee cup that that is a, a lot like a coffee cup that I have. I got it at Rennie's. It's a, it's, it's a nice cup. It's like a rounded white just a nice mug. And um, I, so this is really weird. I'm going to look at this. Let's, let's look at this, okay? Uh, here we go. Watch. One other thing. I wanted to mention that Ryan Upchurch, if he gets into this case, which I hope he does, he, he cannot be bought. He is not going to be paid off by a trafficker. Somebody just dropped a little piece of information under my video, which I really appreciate. Something about how... The guys that have been in jail almost like have to provide them with a child to stay out of jail. There's all these, there's all this crime, these crime rules that are not like normal people rules, okay? That's one thing. So Ryan Upchurch, I think, could be really valuable to this case. He's from Tennessee. I don't believe he's from a trafficking, a trafficked, trafficking type family. I have no idea, but I just don't think he is, but I have no idea, but I, I just think he's, I actually think he's a good man raised by a good family and he's just wild and crazy and he's just a true hillbilly redneck type guy. And he's just big and bold and fun and great. And he makes these great videos and he's, he's like a big, bold, huge energy here to just whatever he's going to do. Now, if he doesn't turn satanic, then he's going to be a great asset to the mission, right? the mission that we are on, that we have are fulfilling, Team Rose, right? I want to get Jimmy to make some The Mission shirts. I already have an idea for a design-ish. So I feel like I'm in the Mandela effects with these two big things. I have heard this and see, I have watched this many friggin' times. I do not remember these big soda jugs here. But let's listen, okay? This is Hunter. Here. Mm -hmm. do, when's the next time Candace... He yawns. Contact you. Around 7.30 that, right. that day, that night. Oh. And where were you at that time? Her, she's I was nodding. over at the park Look in Bristol with my Look girl. Look at her. Hanging out with your girlfriend. Look at her. Uh -huh. Okay, and what happened? Tell me about Look at that. her faces. So she called me saying that someone's missing. Okay. I thought she's pulling the leg because she's not going to do that. Look at this. Okay, why would she mess around with her daughter missing? Why is the what, great grandma what struck you about that? staring I mean, at the it's we can explain how she does when she gets drunk. Look at her. What's going on here? She tends to, when she gets drunk and high at the same time. Yep. She Look tends to think that she loses the kids, but they're out front in the yard. That's what I was thinking. Got it. So the question I'm talking about is when Chris asked where he was, where Hunter was at the time when Candace called him. Get this and little it show looks off. like so that cute. Ellie might be telling him to say he was home. She's maybe? a showgirl. That's what it kind of looks like. She's mouthing. She wants to be and on stage. Like also Marilyn noticed Monroe. that's one of the times he does that weird yawn oh, thing, which could be a sign she of deception. Is. So it's just weird how that's going on here at this time. But it could just be something she's doing with her mouth because she actually does it two more times after. 
But like I said, she could be doing it after to kind of cover it up because Chris looks over at her, so maybe she gets nervous. This is more footage I've never seen of Summer before. She runs up to sit in this woman's lap. She, she's never in her mother's lap. She's not clingy to, clingy to her mother. Her mother hits her, actually. Um, I've heard that several times, that her mother would hit the kids and hit little Summer. I thought she was in her little underpants, but I see that they're just skin-colored tights. I saw her trying to mouth that to Hunter, so she acted like it was like this normal mouth thing she was doing. So mm. she, she did it a couple times mm. to throw them off. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It could just be innocent. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah. I'm going to play it a couple more times. No, straight up, no. From, from there now, you're here. Mm -hmm. do, when's the next time Candace contacts you? Around 7.30 that... 7.30 that day? That night. 7.29. And where were you at that time? She I was over at the park look, in Bristol with my girl. Hanging out with your girlfriend. Uh -huh. Now, straight up, no. From from there now, you're here. Mm -hmm. do, when's the next time Candace contacts you? Around 7.30 that, 7.30 that day. That night. First of and all, Candace didn't... <laughs> Somebody called Leslie... Candace did call him. <sighs> this is so fucking weird. Where were you at that time? I was over at the park at in Bristol with Look my girlfriend. Look Hanging out with your girlfriend. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. This woman is no, good. This woman is up, good. No. From, Look from at this. there, weird. Now, you're here. Mm -hmm. Do, when's the next time Candace contacts you? Around 7.30 that, 7.30 that on. day. These bitches are in on it. I and think there's something weird, something weird time. going on here. I was over at what? the park in Bristol with it's my a granddaughter girl. right there. Not yeah, a mom, a granddaughter. See, so that's the granddaughter. Uh, Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will. And actually, I'll be going live here soon, too. All so right. hope to see you guys in the Another live Another fun, Bye. interesting person doing stuff about this case. Also, I saw that, um, oh, shit. I saw that, um, I hate that fucking bitch. I, I really do. I actually despise this, this woman here. I saw her on a live drunk off her ass. I am disgusted, and she gets away with it. Why? I think it's because of the traffickers in the area are all keeping each other protected. Judge destroys Jesse Smollett. Wow. Going to jail. Tim Mullins, manager for the Wells. I would have never... Hmm. That's a good channel, too. Uh... Yeah, I, I know. I'm into this Zav girl. I'm going to look at more of her. She's got some good footage. Um, Grandis Abandus. Grandmandus Abandus. She's running for her fucking life. She raised a monster. And. Jesus. And the Chris Watts case still going. Oh my God. This guy I find so dull. He's so. I don't know. I like Jimmy's fun personality, you know? The Wells Secrets. Oh, yeah. I gotta watch her more, too. These are so long. Oh, God, guys. Friend of Candace Bly's family comes on panel to clear up. Ah. Oh, I gotta watch that. Okay. I'm gonna watch more stuff. But one thing I thought was... This, like I said, the Mandela effect of those bottles. Because I don't recall those at all. Um... You know, I find this something with the super bottles. I'm like, what the hell? Why don't I remember those big green friggin' sodas? I would have remembered that. I would have thought about it because soda makes you fat. Soda gives you pain in your in your in, in your muscles. That shit, this shit right here is terrible for you. I'm sorry to say it. I get it. It's addicting, but that shit will kill you. And then you're gonna be on medications. How many medications are these people on? This is really upsetting. Um. I was just thinking, like I said, Ryan Upchurch, he cannot be bought. If his family is not involved 
in human in child or sex trafficking or child trafficking or selling children, which he knows about honestly and said it and openly knows how fucked up things are. He, I think he would be, he's powerful enough, I think financially and socially that maybe he could help, but I mean, he would be up against a whole lot of really bad criminals that are a lot of criminals in it together. So you would be up against a really scary uh, bunch of people, honestly. Uh, these people are protecting each other. They're in some sort of, you know, fight club, child trafficking club. They're all part of it. It takes many people to steal a child effectively. Okay. All right. I'll be back. Love you guys.